journey tick on Instagram I hope you guys are all following me on Instagram and if you are new to my channel and I do have a lot of new subscribers thanks to the giveaway um, check out my show I do a morning show Monday through Sunday Sunday mornings it's live and I hope you enjoy the content and hope you decide to stick around um, anyway here's what I'm still working on Alice lost oh, this is gonna be a long-term project here um, let me show you what I did with the sparklers though. You guys had some fantastic suggestions of like using both the gold and the sunshine. Um, maybe the, the gold for like an outer part of whatever I'm demo painting and the sunshine for the inner part. So, but here's what I ended up doing. Washi tape does not stay, does it? My, my camera's going to freak out as usual. So I did the buckles. Ah. Everything's falling down. Okay, I did the buckles in her shoes. I don't know if you can see. There's one. And here's the other. I did that in the gold. Which has more of a bronzy effect, I think. I like that much better than what was there. The sticky thing is here. <laughs> this is not part of the diamond painting. And then I started the clock. The clock is actually two different colors of gold, which your suggestion will be great for that. So um, I'm going to be using uh, the both uh, both the sunshine and the uh, gold. So I put some gold down, and then I'm going to do some of the sunshine maybe up around the top. And then I did the key right here. Can you see the key? Yeah. I did that in the sunshine. I think it's turning out pretty cool. Um, yes, <laughs> all that for those little areas, but you know, like I've got a, a lot more to diamond paint here. So um, I'm gonna have to start rolling this soon so we can get to the upper parts. Oh, yay, I'm making progress, yay, yay. Okay. Um, I get really distracted because there's a big picture window in front of me. Um, I have a little squirrel named Lewis that runs around. We have Jake who joins us every morning. Tootsie's behind me. She, I had to close the kitchen door so she, she's not being able to wander the house because I got the dishwasher running and I have just totally gone far afield of where I started. <laughs> anyway, diamond painting. I dropped my pen. Hold on. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say for um, for everybody out there, you know, I do have to qualify. You know, I do a lot of crafts, but I am by no means an expert on any of them. So um, if you try something I've suggested and it doesn't work, I do apologize. But, you know, this I've been crocheting now for uh, just over a year. You can actually check out some of my earlier videos from when I first tried to do it on the craft with me Wednesday it was a horrible failure but I was determined to learn and my subscribers helped me learn how to crochet so uh, <laughs> I really appreciated that but you know um, I have not knitted um, I've been loom knitting now for about a year um, I love loom knitting love it um, I am trying my hand at collage quilting. I do, I'm doing that once a month in Craft With Me Wednesday. And um, I'm doing all of it on camera. Uh, I'm not doing any of it behind the scenes so that you guys can see my process of learning collage quilting. And um, occasionally I'll grab a coloring book and uh, get my, uh, my pencils out and, and uh, take, a, take a stab at it. Yeah literally <laughs> so let's diamond paint and I also diamond paint um, if you guys have never diamond painted holy moly 
you are missing a uh, another rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah, because that's what it is. All right, I need this color. Where is this color? I seem to have lost this color uh, on my desk. You know, it was clean off your desk week a couple of weeks ago, and my desk is already a mess again, and I don't know where that color is. <sighs> it will turn out. So let's pick another color, shall we? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll do number seven. We have a winner, number seven. I don't like to put pink into a pink tray. Okay, here we go. And I got these from a subscriber. Um, I opened them yesterday. And I used, the, it's a curved four placer. Um, I have not made up my mind yay or nay yet. Still, still checking it out. So, you know, give me a week or so, and then I will give you my opinion. Um, and this, they came from Lexi Lily Crafts. If you um, check out yesterday's video, I have the name on the screen. It's a shop on Etsy. Oh, I could use a, uh, the light pad. Guess what, guys? It's National Puzzle Day. Yes. So, do you know that doing puzzle, just, well, any kind of puzzle, but doing crossword puzzles works both sides of your brain. And that's huge. That's huge. It improves memory, cognitive function, problem solving. Um, so, you know, before I got into diamond painting and crafts, I was doing puzzles. You know, I was taking care of my mother and my sister would come, you know, my mom was living with me, but my sister would, she would come once a month and stay with us and help me out around the house. And at night she and I would sit down and do the jigsaw puzzle. She loves jigsaw puzzles. And she has this like whole system of how she does it. I just, I do the outside and then work on the inside, but she has like a whole system. Um, and my mom, she, like, mom, come on over. You want to, nope, didn't, <laughs> she wanted nothing to do with puzzles. Um, but she likes Sudoku and that's a puzzle and that's, you know, it stimulates the brain as well. So whatever you like, whether it's crossword puzzles or jigsaw puzzles or um, you can do jigsaw puzzles now on your iPad. Kind of cool, huh? Um, yeah. So, how do we celebrate National Puzzle Day? Well, you know, sit down with a loved one and do a puzzle. You know, when Malia, my granddaughter, comes over, I try to get her to do a puzzle. She's like me. She, like, she'll sit down and do it for 10 minutes, and that's as far as her attention span will let her, um, she's got a very short attention span. Like if it's not a jigsaw puzzle on Netflix, she's not going to do it. Um, for all you diamond painters out there, there's some of these diamond paintings were jigsaw puzzles first or have been turned into jigsaw puzzles. There are Chuck Pinson jigsaw puzzles out there. Wow. Can you imagine how long those take? I have a special table. It's not in here. It's in my uh, third bedroom slash office slash spare craft stuff uh, room. And it's this big table and it has drawers on the side that you can um, put, like maybe you're working on a particular section, you can put those into the drawers. Um, and then like if you want to use your dining table again, you just pick the, the whole, it's kind of, it's not that heavy, but kind of heavy but anyway you just pick it all up and carry it somewhere else maybe to the coffee table or you know so you can do it in front of the tv but i love doing puzzles i haven't done one uh, since i started diamond painting um <clears throat> the last one i did i um you know i i always would glue it together and then hang it up so I needed, when I started diamond painting, I needed room for my diamond painting, so the puzzles started coming down. <laughs> Poor puzzles that got put on the back burner. Um, so now I do diamond paintings instead of puzzles. And the ones that I had not done yet, um, 
I had a few that I hadn't done yet. I sent them to my sister. Now she's moving. She is she is one of the people, and she doesn't mind me talking about her. She is one of the people that are victims to these landlords who are selling the properties out from under the people that rent and have been long-term renters, which is so sad. You know, they, there's a moratorium that you cannot evict somebody for non-payal of rent during this pandemic. So they're going around it by just selling the property. And so my sister fell victim to that. So she's got to move. Um, and I'm kind of, kind of glad because I wanted to get her out of Florida. I, I've been telling her, you, you've got to leave that god-awful state. And if you're a Floridian and you're offended by what I just said, sorry, but I lived there for over 40 years and I had to get out. And now I'm in Kansas. And guess what? Um, this day in history, Kansas became part of the Union. We were the 30, let me, I want to get this accurately, 34th state to enter the Union as a free state. In other words, no slavery, but it was a huge issue here in Kansas. Um, not a lot of people that were in Kansas owned slaves, but in Missouri, there, you know, which is right across the border, the, there were huge landowners that um, some of their land bled into Kansas that were slave owners and they would sneak into Kansas when there was a vote so there would be a lot of fraudulent voting going on. Um, but anyway, Kansas was able to successfully finally enter the Union as a free state, non-slavery, but um, a lot of bloody battles were fought over it in this state, um, which is sad very sad where where is it I wanted to tell you what year it was but 1861 goodness gravy you know I pull up these tabs ahead of time on my Google and then they disappear but whatever what else happened this day in history I will tell you um because I thought it was interesting King George the third dies so who is King George III? Well, this was in 1820 that he died. If you remember the show Hamilton, and I think we all do, some of us liked it. You either loved it or you hated it. I, I was kind of in between, but I'm gonna go more towards the hated it column, only because I couldn't understand a damn thing they were saying. Um, but some people just love that show. Anyway, King George the Third is the guy that was depicted. I'll try to put a picture of him here, um, so you know what I'm talking about. He was the guy that depicted like spitting, and um, he was obsessed over American colonies because they were very, they were very lucrative for the British government. You know these co American colonies, and they lost them. And King George, um, you know. He went crazy, not because he lost the American colonies, but because he had this disease um, called, let me pull up the article. Um, Cause I had to look up the disease. I had never heard of it. Um, pop, uh, por, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna butcher this. Porphyria, uh, porphyria? It's a defect in the blood that can cause mental illness. So he was mentally ill for like the latter half of his life. And his son, the Prince of Wales was regent. So his son was running the country. So, and this would be the time frame that, you know, I talked about earlier in the week where um, the British government sent um, 11 ships over to Australia to set up the penal colony, um, well, to New South Wales. But all of this really would have been done by the Prince of Wales, the son of King George, because he was batshit crazy um, from this disease. He was having hallucinations, delusions, um, and he finally passed away. But um, at the time he had passed away, he had not been running the country for many, many years. So I thought that was um, an interesting this day in history. So this is the day he passed away. And, Prince of Wales became King George the Fourth. Okay. Oh, am I done with this color? I'm done with this color. Oh, wait a no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I found another spot. Um, so last night, 
you know, Narita gave me these uh, books, these lovely crochet books. So one of them had this beautiful scarf on the front with these buttons. I'm obsessed with buttons and yarn. Um, so I thought, you know, this looks easy enough. I could probably sit down and knock this out, it, you know, because I've been known to like sit down and do something in one evening. Well, the first stitch was a link double crochet. And I'm like, what the heck is that? So I read the instructions in the book on how to do it. Can't figure it out. So I have a beautiful um, cr crochet stitches dictionary. It's like this thick, 200 stitches in it, no link double crochet. Unless they, it's called, if it's called something else now, please let me know. So I go to YouTube, look up link double crochet, and the video I find is from eight years ago. But I, I'm okay with that. So, so she, she showed me how to do it. So I'm okay. So I figured that out. And the first two rows is that. Then we come to the five star stitch. And I'm like, okay. So I read how to do it. Still, I don't get it. Um, you know, it's like yarn over, yarn over, you know, put it back in this hole, put it back. I'm like, what? I'm totally lost. Um, so. <laughs> I get my Bible out again, my crochet, crochet stitch Bible. It's not in there. Um, <laughs> so I don't know how old this, this pattern was for this scarf. I really want to do it. I'm, I'm one of these people that will figure it out. I will, I, I got frustrated and threw it down. I, you know, I got through the first three rows, which, you know, I have the, which were three buttonholes. I got the three buttonholes. The, no problem. Got the uh, link double crochet stitch. No problem. But, um, and I'll pick it back up again and commence trying to pick. I didn't go back to YouTube for the five star, but um, I will. I will. But um, it, I welcome any suggestions you guys may have because at that point, I just, I put it down, put on Netflix. I'm watching the originals and, um, worked on my temperature blanket. I'm like, yeah, half double crochet that I can do that. <laughs> yeah, but, but a link double crochet. No, it really wasn't that difficult once I figured it out. But then, you know, this one pattern had like five new kinds of stitches that I had never heard of. And I will learn them. I, I'm determined. If you know me, you know, I will figure it out. Yes. All right, we're done with this. We're done with this one. Okay, I need S, S. She's got like a little pink um, I don't know, underskirt, I guess you would say, underneath her dress. That's kind of showing here. That's the part I'm going to do now. And it's pink. I love pink. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do, 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 do. I had to do that just for Mickey. She, she makes fun of me when I do that song. She was doing it yesterday. She's like, I know your song now. It's not a song from anything I've ever, I don't know where I got that from, but every now and then I'll just go, do, 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 do. And so now Mickey's doing it. So last night, before I started crocheting, I... I got out all of the entries for the mystery diamond painting. So um, just let me start from the beginning. We are having a third um, mystery diamond painting event and Mickey Sunshine Creates and I host this event. So, in, um, and if you want to sign up, please do so today because <laughs> um, I would like to uh, post the matchups um, tomorrow morning. So I was, um, it's a Google form that you fill out and you can find the Google form in the Crafting Journey Facebook group. Now, if you've never heard of Mystery Diamond Painting, what that is, is um, I will match you up with a partner um, and you contact that partner. I'll give you their email. You contact your partner um, and you guys 
talk back and forth, you know, what do you like? What kind of colors do you like? What, you know, how much do you want to spend? What company do you want to go with? Um, and I did try to match you up based on your spending preferences and your company preferences. So um, hopefully your match will have the same preferences that you do. So talk to your, you would talk to your partner about what kind of painting and then you each, you order the other person a diamond painting. But when you order it, you have to tell the company, please leave the, um, the thumbnail off of the canvas. They, you know, the canvases have these little thumbnails. Ask them to please leave the thumbnail off the canvas and the inventory sheet. Most companies will, um, just in case they don't, or maybe they forgot that you requested it. When you get the diamond painting that the other person bought for you, have someone open it for you, have a loved one open it, just in case that image is there. Um, and then they can cover it up for you. And then if you happen to order from a company such as Diamond Art Club or Treasure Studios Arts, um, which have plastic covers instead of double-sided adhesive, have a loved one cover it with duct tape so that you do not know what the image is. And you can put that duct tape right down over the plastic. Um, it worked. I've tried it. It does work. Um, and then you you can section it off and diamond paint it. And it's a lot of fun because you don't know what you're painting. Um, I have gotten probably to the very end of my mystery paintings and still not know what, what the heck I was painting. Um, so it's kind of fun to kind of guess, you know, and then um, I will follow along and I do like little collages of everybody's progress. And it's a lot of fun. Um, I do caution people to avoid stolen images. Um, there is a way to check. Um, to see if the image you uh, want to purchase is a stolen image. And um, I will go over that um, probably next week. I'll go over that. Um, but anyway, if, you, if you're interested in doing this mystery diamond painting, sign up, uh, fill out the Google form today. Uh, I was able to match up most people last night. Um, I think we've got a good amount of people. I think there's 34. No, wait a minute. There's some duplicates. 32 people plus Mickey and I. So, and um, Mickey, Mickey's on tonight live. Mickey Sunshine creates tonight and she'll be talking about it in her live tonight. She's at, um, I'm trying to think, 7 Central Time, 8 Eastern. And I'll be there in the chat. So if you see me, say hello. And, you know, in case you didn't know, she's my bestie. <laughs> so she and um, Nareda, my goodness, both my adopted sisters. And I got to tell you, without these lovely women and all of you subscribers, I don't know how I would have fared during this pandemic. I really don't because... Uh, I live alone. It's just me and the dogs, and I probably would be sitting in the corner babbling, cr trying to figure out crochet stitches. I don't know. <laughs> but isn't this pink cute? It's right underneath her skirt. I've got a, yeah, this is so cute. Really super cute. <clears throat> so um, I will do a show, Saturday show tomorrow, and then Sunday morning show is live, and my guest this Sunday is Stephanie Nelson, also known as Wolfpack Diamond Painting. Um, I'm excited because, you know, she has that cat Eli. And he is, he is a hoot. Um, I could just imagine putting Eli in the same room as Jake and Tootsie. Uh, first of all, Tootsie, my half Rottweiler, half Bull Mastiff dog, would probably be hiding somewhere. She is a big chicken. But I imagine Jake would get pretty riled up about it. <laughs> There'd be a lot of barking on his part. He's more of a barker than anything else. But anyway, she'll be a special guest. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, last night she was diamond painting um, on her channel Island Time by Chuck Benson. How cool is that? Yeah, Island Time. I had that diamond painting and just have never started it. Uh, it, 
why because i'm still working on the chuck benson from christmas uh hoping i'll have that out tomorrow um, if you tune into the saturday show and the sunday live you'll see the chuck benson i'm working on yes um close to being finished thank you jesus <laughs> but i'm not there yet oh my where are we on time we're good we're good oh man yesterday i was just blabbering away and went over my time so uh, it's friday tgif it's also payday so i'm gonna go look and see where the yarn sales are and just go look just checking them out now if i happen to see something i really really like i might order it because i want to do some of them scarves and um so if i see something i think might be good for one of those scarves I might order the scarf that I was working on last night that was so difficult I started uh, with a, a yellow a red heart super soft yarn I don't have anything in yellow I've never made anything in yellow so I said hey I want to do this let's get some yellow in my life right and I want to make another one of these newsboy hats. I really love it. This is a uh, bag a day, bag a day crochet um, pattern. And if you look at my playlist, I probably uh, my crochet playlist. I probably have the pattern in there, her pattern, her tutorial, because I save them. Because I have to go back and look at them 15 times to at least to make sure I'm doing it correctly. I want to make sure I get all these because this is it for this. I don't think this diamond is anywhere else in this painting, this color. I really think this curved placer, um, if it was, I, I'm very tempted to go order the 10, the 7 or the 10. Because um, I think for um, it would be good for large quantity multi-placing so and I want to try that out and let you guys know what I think oh, I love that key there can you see it barely here hold on yeah well because I have to diamond paint around it and then it'll come out but it's a key and it's stuck in her sock <laughs> pretty cool okay we are done there we are done here I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. And I will see you either in a live sometime this weekend. Say hello if you see me in a live. Um, if not, I'll be tomorrow morning show and Sunday live with Wolfpack Diamond Painting. Bye, everybody. Love you. Take care.